well, at first, when I first moved out, I was incredibly tearful for a long time. But, you know, I'm trying to pull myself together and think, now, come on, you've got to be proactive. And <laughs> yeah. But it's still there, the worry. You have to let a lot of people... Just talking there about the, the fact that there's so many people queuing up, Oliver, I mean, what, what can you do in this situation, you know, when they're being snapped up so quickly? I mean, it, it's very, very difficult and it's an everyday occurrence for, for air stage and it's not yeah. just myself, air stage and up and down the country. We put a property online within 24, 40 hours, we get 20 to 30 viewing requests and from that we get 8 to 10 applications and we have to let a lot of people down. Um, sometimes our houses don't even go online. We just have a pre-approved list that we contact wow. and they get the first shout. So what can you do in that situation? Well, it, it's difficult. Um, but the, I've got a few tips for you today. Uh, first up, um, human contact's very, very important and something that we've forgotten a lot since, obviously, COVID. So going into an estate agency office, uh, tell them, telling them a bit about yourself, try and leave a lasting impression. I, I even had one woman called Amber that came in and left us some chocolates. Wow. And we remembered her. Yeah. And she, she did get a property. Um, so... <laughs> <laughs> You've tried that one, have you? <clears throat> and flowers. And flowers, yeah. <laughs> Um, so just sending the right move inquiry, it just doesn't cut it anymore yeah. because we get dozens and dozens and dozens. So we, we have to select someone so it's difficult. Yeah. Um, so that's my first tip. Second tip, um, when you do apply for a property, write a letter, write an email to the landlord and explain um, um, why, why, why you would be a good tenant and also throw a few compliments though, their way. Tell them why you like the house and maybe even put a picture of yourself on. You know, just these little things, so there's a bit of a, a yeah. relationship there for them. And third of all is to be flexible. Um, when you are offered a viewing slot, um, maybe 3 o'clock in the afternoon and you work till 5, yeah. maybe get a friend and do a live FaceTime or something like that. Yeah. Um, because if you can only do certain times and, and the block viewings at an earliest uh, time, you might miss out. It's, as it's, as that. it's interesting that about the personal touch because a friend of mine uh, was renting out her house that she'd moved out of and she'd had a bad experience with the previous tenants who'd had children and they'd mucked up the walls and all sorts. Anyway, she'd said, I'm not having kids again in the house, you know, when because uh, she knew it was, there was such demand. But then there was a really personal letter with the application from a young couple who'd had a baby and that totally won her over. So... It, it, like you say, that can make a difference at the end of the day. Landlords, you would hope, are all quite human and if, if they can see your authenticity... Yeah, I've had that. people take less money because they liked that person. Yeah. You know, so not every landlord is scrupulous. Yeah, know, so. yeah, it's good to know. Um, so, Jenny...